If you don't know nothing in life, just know that this is one of the best juices out there. Remember who put you on, bitch. Back on the scene doing my everything, but you know what I mean. What? What? But you know what I mean. And if you don't know what I mean, that means you're not subscribed. Like up this video, drop a comment down below referring to this video or any other video that you want to see. If you didn't know about the title already, this is a motherfucking story time. I know you guys were waiting for my story times. I've been putting out vlogs because I've been you know moving around and if you don't know it's very hard to sit down and do a video when you are moving around you're gonna hear a little background noise that is my daughter she is up right now it is her nap time and she's still not sleeping so i can't wait for her we ain't waiting for you baby hello so if you hear noise please do not do not just don't i'm eating some quesadillas with some chicken in it i got some cheese sauce I don't even know if this is cheese, but it kind of tastes like it. That's some Mexican quesadillas. They are so good. I've been eating some rice and beans already, you know. It is mm, mm, mm. so good. I also got me some churros with this chocolate dip. I don't know if it's chocolate. I don't know if it's Nutella. I don't know if it's both mixed together. Comment down below if you know what's in these little chocolate things that the Mexicans give you when you order some churros. These churros look good. If you are not hip to this already, you need to get on it, okay, baby? Because you're missing out. We are here with a story time and if you cannot see by the title this story time is going to be about the time i got catfish this catfish story got a little twist to it and it's a little like it's a little heartfelt it's a little scandalous it's a little bit of everything when i went through this my emotions were everywhere you get what i'm saying so let's get right into the story time These quesadillas with this cheese or whatever this is, it's hitting like, look at that, look at that. I know you want that, baby. I know you want that because my baby want that and she can't have none. No, nah, she already had hers. I was finna eat my whole fucking house up if I didn't get this food in time. You know when you just going in your cabinet and eating everything? Let's get into this. Shh. Remember, mommy is recording, okay? Okay. I got catfished by an Instagram model. I know some of you are probably confused. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. My name is Jolie. I just added the mink. If you are OG, you know that I like girls and I like guys. I like whatever my heart falls for. And thank you guys so much for accepting me for who I am. This was after my last relationship. If you don't know, I've been in two relationships. My very first relationship and the one I was recently in probably like a year or two ago. So I was out in the field again. Maybe I was doing my thing you feel me because that's what that's what i wanted to do i wanted to see how sh how strong my mind was now you get what i'm saying because i was a little weak-minded when i did get in that relationship i i built myself up to a point where i want to experience that type of shit out here i want to see what i can handle what i can't handle like i wasn't really looking for anything but i'm not no ugly girl i attract certain people hello like what's up baby baby won't you come my way that's that's the type of time i was on because i'm not going anyone's way okay you better come over here and you better apply pressures. Anyways, get let me. I'm getting off track. So this one girl, she was applying pressure. Like we only had like five mutual friends. One of the mutual friends that we do have shared my video, my YouTube video. I see that we have that person in common. So the girl, the Instagram model. Let me let me give her a name. Pink. We gonna do pink for her. She started liking all my stuff. If you know me, you know that I support other females that support me. I support females that don't support me. But she's liking all my stuff, so I go to her page and I'm like, let me like some of her stuff. You get what I'm saying? So when I go to her page to go like some of her stuff, I'm like, oh, this girl, she really cute. Like, and she had like a little following. Like, I, I think she had like 15K at the time. Now she about like at 20K, but at the time she had like only 15K. I'm like, okay, like she doing her thing. She doing her little Instagram baddie thing. You feel what I'm saying? Like, plus she showing me love. Anybody that show me love, y'all know I show love back. I started liking all her pictures up, you know. I was liking her pictures with no intentions to get to know her further, to maybe to network, but not in no flirtatious way you get what i'm saying on the other hand she had other ideas for me she starts to send like her eyes to my story right so i'm like okay like this i'm still not thinking nothing of it because nowadays us girls we do that like we show love that way like we may put a heart eye on like somebody picture oh this type spicy mm. hold on Time go 
goes on and she started like liking up my stories all the time and stuff like that I hit her up because I've been trying to network at the time and honey networking is not the same when you're on IG I rather you network in person for my own experience okay I hit her up like hey like you know we should network see what we could do like how we could benefit off of each other boop bop bing. she like yeah that sounds lit whatever what's your number like I be out in the city from time to time I'm like alright I'm always out here cause at the time I lived in the city I lived in New York so I was going out at the time I was going to clubs so I'm telling her all of this like oh I go to clubs you know like we could link up and do those type of things we could go to brunches brunches was lit at the time they still lit but they was extra lit at the time you know corona did not start yet this was like a little before March April May June, July, August. Probably like coming to the winter time. Or we probably was in the winter time. I don't really know, but I know it was like before Corona in um 2019, if I'm not mistaken. I exchanged numbers with her or whatever. So after we exchanged numbers, she hits me up like ever so often. Hey, how you doing? What you doing, boo? Like stuff like that. I talk with names like that, like boo, babe, things like that. And it's never on no flirt flirtation shit. As time goes on, probably like two weeks or so, we still have not linked yet. I invite her out to a club. So I told her to come to a club that I usually go to with a couple of friends. She told me that she would come. I didn't give this girl my number just for her to check up on me. You feel what I'm saying? That night comes and she did not go to the club at all. She didn't write me that day, that night. I wrote her at nighttime and said, hey, are you still coming? No, just to get a confirmation before I leave the club. She tells me the next morning like, oh, I took a nap and it went further than what it's supposed to. So I'm like, cool. You can't blame somebody for being tired. The hell, I don't know what her life consists of. She an IG baddie. She probably got a lot of shit. Shoots and shit that she go to, right? Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. No bullshit. Okay, boom. So I keep talking to this girl. Now that she flaked on me, I feel like she's not comfortable. Cause ain't nobody telling me they took a nap and it went too far and you woke up the next morning. Cause I use that on little lame motherfuckers that I never want to link. I'm like, I'm not going for that. You're not about to, you feel me? You're not about to do that. I do that to bitches and niggas, so don't try to do that to me. I start talking to her more. So I'm like getting to know her. What got you into being like who you are today? And she starts telling me her life, you know, like whatever it is that she wanted to share with me. It was nothing much, just basic information. She starts to try to like get more in depth with me. Like ask me about my life and certain things. But if I have not seen you yet in person, I'm really close off. I'm giving her like basic responses, basic information, like nothing too drastic. So now she's telling me through text like oh, I love your vibe I feel like I love you like and I haven't even met you and it's like, you know, like basically like we connect spiritually uh -huh. no. I started getting like a little skeptical and I felt it a little too but I, like I told you I felt a little off like her profile didn't match what she was telling me in my eyes but that was just me being a little judgmental you know I'm like oh like thank you like a lot of people love my energy not to gloat or anything but I do share a lot of positivity when it comes to people in general men I shy away from them because they take positivity as oh yeah she on me so I kind of like Distant myself a little bit from men, but as in women, you know, I share my positivity very openly It could be overwhelming sometimes to some people that's not used to positive shit So now she's telling me that and I get it. I know myself So I know like she might really actually feel this way So now remember we have this person that we both know that we both follow so since I'm skeptical about pink I hit up this person and I'm like, hey, do you know this girl? She followed me and you know, I want to network with her But I don't know how much of a real person she is so the person Person, my friend let's name him Rara so Rara hits me back up and he's like yeah I know her they went to like elementary school together like that was a long time ago he can't give me no updates on her like who she is today nowadays and shit so I'm like, okay, whatever, at least she's a real person. That's what I'm thinking in my mind. I keep talking to Pink. Really, we really start connecting. Because after she shared, like, that she really feels like we're soulmates and, like, she really loves my energy and I, I bring so much to her life. Mind you, we only been talking for, like, a month now. Like, I don't know, I'm a sucker for that. Like, I'm a sucker for bringing positivity into people's lives. So when somebody shares to me that, you know, like, I'm brightening up their life and it's like, oh, my God, like, I'm so happy I could do this for you, girl. Like, I'm so happy. I'm still happy to this day that I could have done that for you. By the way, this girl... We're not on bad terms, but we just don't we're not what we used to be. Okay I never told nobody this story time. I want to get that out there I never told nobody the story time This is not new But it's kind of fresh to the world because I've never spoken on it because how in-depth this girl's situation was Okay, so I did ask permission to share this story She said as long as I don't use her name don't show no Instagram or anything like that Which I appreciate you girl for that. I don't know what was going on in her head or anything like that This is just all me and how I went about 
about things and all that. Like I said, I'm a sucker for certain things. I start really like talking to her. Like I will text her every day when she asks me how's my day. I will be like so blunt and honest. Like fuck, this shit got me tight at work today. I'm going through this with my daughter. She's going through changes. Like I needed somebody to talk to. Like what the fuck? Fuck it. I was vulnerable, y'all. I was vulnerable. Stupid ass bitch. It became very serious to where I start sharing like my past experience with this female. As we get more in depth, she's calling me on the phone and like I don't know how to make the voice, but she had like a semi deep voice. But a lot of women have deep voices. Her voice matches her image. You get what I'm saying? So as we start talking on the phone, I'm starting to like realize that this girl actually likes me. Expressing like every week how she feels about me. You sometimes I feel like I love you. But what the fuck? You, but I know lust can be like very strong. She's explaining these things to me, so I'm like, I'm not even eating because this story has to be like one of my favorite story times because of how much of an impact I had on somebody's life and how much of an impact they had on my life. So I'm trying to tell her, like, I need to see you. Like, so now she's telling me, like, there's certain things that you don't know about me that I'm scared, and I'm like, what girl, like, what could it be? Because I feel like we got so in depth with like each other's lives that, like, I feel like I know her, okay. Like, I feel like that's my, my bestie. Like, you know, even though she looks at me at a different level, like, it's like, I don't care about nothing that you gotta say. Like, I'm cool with you now. Like, I fucks with you. I showed, I told you things that a lot of people don't know. So, as we keep talking, it hits probably like a month and a half now. I still have not seen her. I made many attempts to see her club. She's not with it. So, now I got in my head again. This gotta be catfish. This got to be. So now we both follow a female that we both know. Let's name her. Let's name her Tati. Now I hit up Tati and I'm like, hey girl, you know this girl, whatever. So Tati is, she's blunt as hell. So she's like, yeah, girl, I know her. Like she basically said like she's been MIA for a little while. When Tati says that, I feel like Tati knows something that she doesn't want to share with me. Some drama is about to happen. I found out that Tati brought it to Pink that I asked about her. So now Pink hits me up like, what's wrong with you? Like, just bear with me work with me i'm trying to work up my my like basically her courage to meet up with me and i'm telling her like i'm becoming a bit impatient no i'm not an impatient person but like when somebody i feel like someone is trying to play with me i cannot take it i can't take that i'm sorry i'm not the one i hit a puppy like sis how you gonna tell her that i hit you up like god damn i was trying to you know be the fbi and shit and you fucking up my case like what's wrong with you girl talk to you like girl like you know like i'm cool with her like i'm cool cool with her like i just thought that she should know I out for her or whatever. Boy, rat, you're a rodent. I don't respect you. So I'm telling um Pink, I'm telling her I don't know how to feel about you. I know you have these feelings for me, but I can't reciprocate those feelings if I don't really know you like that. You get what I'm saying? I don't all I know is what you tell me, but like if I'm not seeing you physically and I feel like I can't fully feel you emotionally. Anybody could feel something off of phone calls, texts. Like you could feel emotion for people off of that, but like is it real? Because when you see them, are you still gonna like them based off their appearance, maybe their hygiene, maybe you know things that they do in person that you can't detect over a phone call or through text. You get what I'm saying? I'm telling her these things and she's like, I get it, like, just be patient, whatever. So now I'm, I'm pressuring her to, to link up with me. So now she's like, oh, I'm gonna link up with you. Finally, this is what I've been waiting for. So she makes a plan to meet me in Barnes & Nobles. I'm finally about to meet Pink. In my head, I got, she's a catfish. So I'm preparing my body, mind, and soul for everything I'm about to see. I go to the location that we are gonna meet up at. It's a Friday, it was raining outside or whatever, so yeah, I was like, if she make me come all the way over here i'm i'm probably gonna go find her address after this and motherfucker be her ass so that's what's in my mind so i'm like girl ain't no way finna have me come all the way out here because i live in the bronx i live in the south bronx you making me go all the way downtown manhattan soho area to link up with you boom so now i i go to the location and i'm there it's probably around three something i'm there and i'm waiting and i'm hearing her up like oh i'm here she's like i'm on my way or whatever cool she's on her way there's no other time that she told me that she's on her way. I'm waiting there. I'm just panicking. I didn't want to tell anyone about this. First of all, I just got out of a relationship. Second of all, I'm like, damn, if this is catfish, I do not want nobody to know about this. I'm waiting there. I'm there looking for a book that I feel like she will like if I pick this up. It was a book called Contagious. I don't know if you guys know that book, but I have it right here on my bookshelf. 
somewhere. It's one of these orange books. Cool. I picked that book out for him. And I'm waiting there for her. And I'm waiting. 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 I get a text. I'm outside. I'm so nervous to come inside. So now, I'm on the top floor of Barnes and Noble. And I'm like, fuck, I can't even look out the window and see. Because the overlook, it kind of looks past the sidewalk area. It looks past that. So I'm like, dang. I can't even see who she is before I go downstairs and all that. So I'm telling her, like, I'm on the second floor. She's like, okay, what, like, what out? So I'm like, I'm close to the kids area. I saw a couple people come in through and I'm like, is that her? Is that her? Because mind you, I'm thinking she's a catfish, so I'm thinking she looks nothing like herself. So now I see a girl. Mind you, it's raining outside. At the time, I had a, um, I had like a little jacket on. You know, like the little puffer looking jacket. I had one of those. You know, I see a girl with a big Jets, um, windbreaker type of thing with a hoodie on. You know, like the sports hoodies, like the oversized hoodies. You know, the Jets, like football. The football team that jeans on with some Uggs, gray Uggs. The Jets jackets was green and grayish. So I see that girl and I'm like, that gotta be her. So I'm panicking now. I'm like, fuck, I know that's her. I know it's her. So now I call her name and I'm like, Pink. Pink. She looks. I'm like, oh, so it's her. She comes to me. I'm like, what's up? Like, why you look like this? I know it's raining outside. Cause you know, if you know me, then you know I'm very like open and I'ma speak. Like, I'ma be me. I'ma be fluent and just, you know, what's up? Like, why you got this hoodie on? I know it's raining outside, but girl, you look like, you know, you look like a creepy old man looking for these little kids and shit. I'm making jokes cause that's just who I am. She giggles a little bit. I'm like, take off your hoodie. So I go to take off a hoodie and she like grabs her hoodie back like this, like kind of tugs it back like towards her face. So I'm like, what happened? Like, if she came to me, she can't be a catfish. So now I'm just really making jokes. I'm like, don't tell you a catfish she like i'm not but like it's just not my day so i'm like okay cool we all have those days you know why it had to be this day i don't know but it's just her day so now i sit down with her and i saw her face a little bit she did look like she had the same features yes she did so now i'm sitting with her and i'm talking i'm just because that's just who i am I'm talking about everything but nothing i'm like what's up like why you didn't want to see me like what's what's the what's the deets on everything like what, what is the details like tell me she's like i didn't want to see you because i didn't want you to know my truth and i oh so now I'm like, what is going on? I'm nervous. I'm like, what is your truth? Like, what's up? Like, talk to me, baby. Like, what's going on? You told me a lot of things in your life that happened to you or whatever. She's telling me. This is where it gets really, like, sentimental. And it made me feel like shit for even thinking what I was thinking about her. Because, you know, I was judging her off of how she looked when she pulled up on me. Like, you know, like, she just wasn't who she portrayed herself to be on Instagram. So she looked how she looked um, on Instagram, face-wise. Body-wise, no. Um. Um, she was very skinny. She looked like she didn't eat much. I don't want to say the wrong things because I don't want to offend anyone. Basically, like, who she is on Instagram is who she used to be before certain things in her life started to happen. She's telling me how she no longer eats the way she used to. Whenever she wants to eat, she throws up. Um, she tells me that basically she was not born a woman, but when she was younger, she wanted to be a woman. She told me when she was about, like, in her 20s, so mind you, this woman was 25 at the time when I met up with her. Her mom is a drunk. Yes, we are getting into details in Barnes and Nobles, honey. So she told me when she was about like 20, 21, her mom has a lot of drunk friends, drunken friends that come into their home. And I guess one of the friends took it too far and raped her before she had her genitals removed. I'm getting a little emotional because I'm like, dang, like, this is somebody's life. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, and they feel comfortable to tell me. So this is why I never told anyone this story. So when she was 23, she made the decision to remove her genitals because she felt less of a man regardless of anything because of what he'd done. She did feel like she wanted to be a woman when she was younger, but she was not going to go through with the surgery. She's going to keep her genitals and still be a trans woman. I'm trying not to put myself down for, like, having these judgmental thoughts when she first walked in and i'm trying like not to put myself down about it but like it was so hard because it's like dang you don't know a person's story until they tell you even though she was semi a catfish i didn't i wasn't mad about her being catfish or nothing because like i said i was not looking for anything like i couldn't believe what she was expressing to me right now so i'm like so why why me like what's like what's up with me like she was telling me how this friend that we have in common which remember i told you i hear her up what did we name her what did we name the friend? Well, the friend, the second friend that I hit up, um, I forgot what I named her because I'm so in depth in the fucking story time. But the friend that we had in common, she told Pink that basically I'm an open person and like I won't judge her. I kind of felt like more of an ass for judging her when I first saw her. And I was like, fuck. 
Like, come on, man. Like, what's up? Like, you're not usually like this, Jolie. Like, get it together. I'm like, okay. And she was like, so basically when I started talking to you on the phone and I realized that you really are an open person and like, you're someone that I feel like I can get insight about my situation on. So I just thought I should come to you. I'm going through a hard time right now and I don't really know who to turn to. Basically her mom is still a drunk and like that's pretty much her only family in New York. So I'm like okay I do not mind. I just hate being lied to so I don't feel like she lied to me. I just feel like she wasn't being as open as I was being to her. So I tell her this and she's like I get it like if you don't never want to if you never want to talk to me again I get it and I'm just telling her like no like that's not it. You came to me because you felt like I can help you with whatever it is that you need help with. So now I'm telling her how I felt about her situation. So I tell her, do you love who you are today? She tells me not fully. So I'm like, why? She said, cause I feel like I did some things out of rushing, out of wanting to be fast um, on decision making due to things that I went through. And the way that I got all of this done, I'm not proud of it. I'm assuming she's saying the way she got the money to do the operation and everything, she's not proud of what she's done. And now, you know, it's kind of haunting her. So now I'm telling this girl, like, okay, you made decisions that you feel like you're not okay with. You are beautiful, because she is a beautiful girl. The only thing, she doesn't look how her Instagram looks because she is, she's very skinny now. So I'm asking her, I start to get into details, like, how do you make your Instagram pictures look that way or whatever? She's like, she took a lot of pictures when she was younger but well, when she was like 20 23 like going around those ages and all she does is like archive them from the bottom and then like repost them like as if they're new pictures and like people don't really recognize that on instagram so it's like you know like people don't recognize if you have pictures up for a very long time you archive like most of the bottom ones and you have your top ones and they repost the bottom ones on the top as if they're brand new people won't really recognize it because they're just you know, they're just, I don't know. They don't really pay attention. Unless they're paying attention, but I doubt that's what's happening with her. So now I'm telling her, like, I'm really giving her, like, my honest opinion. And the fact that she's already done the operation and everything, she should just embrace it. Live life through her body now as her, bo as her per like, who she is now. I'm telling her she's very beautiful because she is. You know, there's therapists and everything that can help you with that. I'm telling her, like, I will help her, like, with the therapy thing. I've been to therapy about tragic things that happened in my past. So I've only been one time, but it's helped me that one time to overcome the barrier I was in. I feel like I need to go back now because you know certain things are like blocking my mental now but that one time I went really was a drastic change in my life. I'm just telling her like don't catfish nobody else. Just get your life together first. Fuck Instagram right now. Fuck everything that's going on on the media. You don't need that right now. You don't need to pretend like you're still an Instagram baddie or anything like that. Just you know like just literally fix you. So when we part ways I was in my feelings for about a week. Because I couldn't believe what I just experienced with this person. Pink hits me up probably a, like a week later. And she tells me, hey, you said that you will help me find this therapist or whatever. And I link up with her to do that. Hey, let's look online. Let's see what you want to do. How much money do you have? Like, how are you going to go about this and that and all this good stuff? So we do that and we found a therapist that she liked. She, she wanted a female therapist. After that, she, she asked me, is it okay if basically she distanced herself from me so i'm asking her like why like why do you have to distance yourself from me like and she's like because i didn't really have feelings for you and like things i was telling you were based off like were based off me wanting to basically have you your energy be you and i don't know how that will work going moving on as like in a friendship i respected her so much for that because i got what she was saying like i'm not gonna hold on to you you needed something and I'm happy I could give it to you. Do I feel a little used? Yes, I do. But do I feel like I was helpful to somebody else's life? Yes, the fuck I do. So that 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 overpowered everything that I could like ever want out of a person. Like if I could help you, I'm okay with that. My camera's about to die. So basically, after she asked me to do that, I did as she asked. And I would say probably like a month later, two months later, she told me like, oh, things are coming together well for her. Um, she's starting to love who she is as a person. Like she's gaining weight again. She's been in a mental hospital for about a month. But she just wanted to reach out and tell me that she's doing way better. So now fast forward. It's been like two years or so. I see her doing very well on YouTube. I see her shining and gloating. I see her body coming back together. I'm not going to display her name or anything like that. But I just want to say I see you girl and I see you shining. I'm so happy I could be someone that can help you over a hurdle that you had in your life. This whole thing made me so emotional guys. Like I've never been through anything like this. And I'm so happy that I could help someone. Being that I've, 
I've been in situations where I don't know what to do and I feel like an outsider can help me more than someone inside my circle. I've never told anyone this story time due to the fact that it's someone's personal life. Also, I was a little embarrassed. I felt used a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. So I felt kind of embarrassed being that I just got out of a relationship. You know, like, I'm probably gonna get clowned for this, but I don't feel that way anymore. I looked at it more as a positive thing and that someone felt comfortable to come to me. I just wanted to share this because this is something that I feel like a lot of people go through. And if you need an outsider to help you when it comes to your life, then do it. Go to a therapist. Go to someone that you're an influencer that may help you. Like, keep writing them. Like, they'll see your message. I'm not saying come to me, but I'm saying, like, I'm here to listen. That's all, babies. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. Make sure my babes keep shining, glowing, and all that good stuff. This is where the mean babes stay and slay, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like up this video. You drop a comment down below referring to this video or any other video. Make sure you also comment down below and say if you ever been in a situation that kind of like made you feel like wow like i have a purpose on this earth if you have make sure you drop that comment down below anyways later babies